Hey all, Tony Bing here, hello and welcome to another beginner's guide. For this video we will have a look at Storm and we'll be showing off our amazing crowd control and AoE potential so she really is a, a fantastic hero and I'm looking forward to running through this one. If you're new to my beginner's guide videos what we do is we look at various different aspects of a hero and this is really to help players that are maybe new to the game are looking to unlock their next hero. So what we'll cover is the primary attributes offensive and defensive traits, we'll look at the resource and then we'll move on to look at a few of the costumes, we'll show them off, we'll then check out the signature out and finishing up we'll have a look at the different skills she uses and we'll run through some actual gameplay to show them off. So first up anyway, we'll look at the primary attributes, offensive and defensive traits and also the resource. First up here then we'll look at the offensive trait and that would be Goddess of Weather. Now with it you gain a 5% brutal strike chance, arch type of striker and you also gain a damage bonus from the attribute speed and energy. Now they're both useful on her, personally I do prefer the speed attribute because it adds to your dodge rating multiplier that you already have as a defensive part of your kit so you can really push that high around 40-50% I've seen it and it can actually make her feel a bit tanky for a ranged hero. Now talking about the defensive side of things, you have Cloak of Wind, so this has inbuilt health regen, triples when you fall below 35% health, the arch type is nimble and you also have a deflect and as mentioned already you've got a dodge rating multiplier there. Now looking at a resource, this is called Human Tempest and with it Tempest generates while in combat and never decays. When it's filled, Tempest Surge is automatically activated. Now this is a, a steroid of sorts and what it does is it buffs your attack speed, movement speed, damage, dodge chance and once you hit full with it, it starts to decay. But while it's still decaying, you can actually use certain hard hitting skills. So it's a really interesting resource and it does add quite a bit of strategy to our character. You can go for certain builds we want to stack as much Tempest as you can to try and keep that up and that's a particular build that I do actually use myself but with the, the Core of Storm covered let's now have a look at a few of our costumes. First costume we look at here is the default, this is called the Modern Costume. Recently had a visual update and looks great. Finishing up the costumes we look at Astonishing and this costume really is Astonishing. This is by far my favourite costume on Storm. It, it just looks absolutely incredible, it really does. So with the costumes covered we'll now have a look at the Signature and Ultimate. For the Signature we have a skill called Typhoon and this is absolutely amazing looking. It's actually really useful as well because what it can do through certain talents is pull all enemies together. So if you're in a maybe like mid town or a patrol, you can pull all the bosses together and then that way everyone can whittle them down with their AOE. So this works really well. Now another thing about this that's very important is with Storm, you want to have a max Tempest so that you can fire off your skills and get all your bonuses and Typhoon actually generates 100% Tempest for you so that's really important in that respect as well but overall it's just great, it looks great, it offers a lot and it's got a great amount of utility as well so it's a perfect signature really. For the ultimate skill we have the aptly named Goddess of Weather so with this Storm will fire lightning bolts all over the screen and call down crashing hail as well so you've got the energy damage dot and you've also got the slow and on top of that she's not locked down while using it so you can actually add your own dots as well so really it looks amazing once you activate this skill and you can do an insane amount of damage to enemies as well I like this a lot and now we get to the fun part of the video here where we can run through some gameplay and show off these awesome skills she's got so with this run through of the shocker terminal we'll look at the lightning side of things and she has Two spenders you can really use here, she actually is free in fact, one of them is a basic we won't be showcasing because we don't have the, the bar space to show off but it's a basic, there's nothing too interesting about it. Spender wise anyway, she starts off with electrocute which is a, a single target spender and it can do a whole lot of damage on single targets as you would expect. She then has chain lightning which can actually be used as a spender as well and it works great on single targets but it actually works really well in mobs as it bounces off them. 
we then start to look at the cooldown side of things and we have ball lightning. Now with this, when we use particular talents, we can have it so you can fire off various charges of these and what happens is they will bounce off the scenery and actually come back to you. So you can hit the enemy, start running away, hitting them with another skills and you'll see the balls of lightning coming to you. You can see that happening on screen there, so it's quite nice and quite fun. We then have your lightning storm and that is your vulnerability skill there and it will do energy damage as a dot as well, so that's a nice useful skill. Following on from that, we have Billion Folk Strike. Now this one, along with the next skill we'll look at, Storm Surge, these can both only be activated while Tempest Surge is actually active, but they do a huge amount of damage, so it's all about balancing your Tempest, keeping it up, getting Surge active, and then you can fire off these skills for a whole ton of damage. Now, final lightning skill we'll look at, this particular one is called Lightning Conduit, and this is kind of like, it's like uh, Force Lightning really when I think of it. I just imagine the Emperor from Star Wars firing this off. It's all in a cone effect, it's pretty nice as well. It's affected by power duration, so if you can get that up high enough, you can really hit the enemy for a lot, and you also stun them while you're doing it as well. But here we go, we'll fire off all these skills in Shocker, and show them off here. As you can see, the visuals are, they, they really are something else. That was Storm Surge we fired off there, because what it also does is it will summon a tornado. So you can see that flying about the screen. We're using the electrocute on them here as well, because it is just a single target. There's some ball of lightning as well there, and then they'll come back just doing additional damage. And that's us, that's him down. So these skills, as you can see, really do look pretty amazing. What we'll do for the next gameplay uh, video here is we will run through the, let's see, it's a Dr. Octopus terminal, and we'll look at the wind and ice side of things. They look pretty nice as well. Lightning's probably my favourite, but this next one's quite fun as well. So here we go, and we'll show off the next set of skills here. So as mentioned, with this particular level run through, what we'll do is we'll look at the the wind and really ice side of things with her. So the main spender you're using would be Gale Force Winds, and this does knock back as well. So it's really quite a nice skill, and it keeps the enemies away from you because under certain circumstances, Storm can be a bit fragile. You then have Crash and Hail, and this will do an energy damage dot and also slow down your enemies. So it's really good for keeping them in place so you can whittle them down. We then have Microburst. This can actually be used as a spender. It does additional damage to enemies that are in the centre of the area and it will weaken them. But through talents, you can change this, add a cooldown to it and actually have it so that it will freeze enemies. So that can be really quite useful there. We then have Hurricane Winds and with this, it has to be activated once Tempest Surge is active. But as we know by now, if you have a skill that you need to activate when Tempest Surge is active, then it will be really powerful. You've seen it just fire off there and it absolutely wiped out all the guys, so that's really nice. It will also do bonus damage based on the percent of max Tempest you actually have, so you may want to stack it so you can do a huge amount of damage with that. We then look at Sudden Tornadoes, and with this one you're just calling in tornadoes that randomly fly about the screen and attack the enemies. So they can be quite nice, you can fire them, forget about them and start concentrating on the rest of your rotation and they'll just go about the screen taking out mobs for you. Final skill we look at, this is Obscuring Fog which is a nice support skill. Now when you use this, you apply concealed and protected to yourself and also nearby allies as well there. So that's pretty useful, especially if you're in a bit of trouble, your health's going down, you've maybe not locked down the, the boss because of CC immune because you've been hitting them with so much crowd control, you can fire off Obscuring Fog to give you a few seconds breathing time. We can see I just used it there at the end, but again, the, the skills do look really great on Storm. The Lightning ones look fantastic and the Wind ones, with a big ripple of energy you can see right now, it looks great, and with this astonishing costume, it just really, it really does complete the package. So that's another uh, beginner's guide covered. This was a nice fun one because Storm's skills really are over the top, and she's massively fun to play. Uh, she's one of my favourite heroes in the game, and her, her crowd control abilities and her abilities to take down mobs are really unrivaled, so I can't recommend her enough. I uh, hope this video was useful. Any questions, anything like that, as always, feel free to ask them below. 
and thanks for tuning in and see you all again soon